What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Mad Max. I was going to hang out for a little bit and I wasn't sure if I was going to cover this game because AAAs aren't necessarily something I do on this channel. But I wanted to wait and see if the game got good reviews and I wanted to wait and see like if it was optimized and the port was good before I played it. Because in my experience sometimes I dive straight into a game and then the port is just absolutely terrible and I should have just played it on PlayStation or whatever else. In the case of Mad Max I've heard that the port is quite good, everybody is saying the game is pretty exquisite. So I figured I would bring you all along with me to check the game on out. So let's check ourselves out some Mad Max start their game. Got to save on auto first, though. It is known that the world fell. And that most people in it died. The dead will not suffer the hardships of a terrible world which remains. Those born into this hell have no remembrance of anything else. Those who survived, those are the truly broken, for they know what was before. Oh, we actually get to play the game now? I thought that, that I thought it was going to be one of those games where it just throws us straight into the game. I'm going to be honest, I flinched when the car went by. I was like, this seems really, really dangerous. Then again, this entire world just seems to be one giant tetanus magnet. So stubbing your toe in this place could be famous. Like, my jaw feels stiff. I stubbed my toe on a piece of car back there. Uh, I figure we'll probably just go new game and we'll go auto save slot one. I don't know why I did my orc voice there for a minute. Apparently, oh, never mind. There's people chasing us. That was some pretty gangster shit. I will accept that as an option of the was one such man, one who had lost all over and over, and to this he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions, and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas tank.
Man, somebody made a willpower check right there. He powered through a chainsaw on his forehead. Ain't no joke right there. I'm gonna assume that Scabrous Scrotus was the name that his mother gave him. <laughs> oh, man. I want someone to tell me what is the soul of a man. I'm going to ask a question. Answer if you can. Will anyone here tell me what is the soul of a man? for another brawl. This setback would not stop him. He would have his peace, even if it meant another war. And war was coming, because he had created a mortal enemy. I mean, on the plus side, at least I got my polio leg brace back. Polio is no joke, man. There's a reason we wiped it out. So let's see what's going on here. Need water. I need water. Let's go find water. That sounds pretty good. Hydration. It's important. Water goes inside your body. That's what the next tip is going to be. Tips in video games always crack me up. They're like, pro tip, hats go on your head. Water, you swallow it. <laughs> water, you should swallow it. That'd be a pretty good catchphrase for it, though. Hey, what you doing, little buddy? What? You got water? I'm pretty stoked that the dog is our friend right now. I was feeling pretty guilty about the fact that he got his ass kicked. Not on my accord, but you know. Although he's sort of forgetting the fact that I threw a mean bow into the side of his head. I dropped a B on that dog. Drink from the canteen. Oh, we gotta hold down the four key. Yeah, what for? Oh, it makes your health come back? Well, Jesus, that sounds pretty awesome. Okay, so we got a number of things going on here. The game's pretty, though. It feels good. I mean, it jumps in at a straight 60 frames pretty well. I feel like it's going to carry us through. We should be all... How was that? Doggy, did you fall into a bear trap? Figures. Every time I adopt an animal, I get the dumb one. I have a house full of just remedial animals. Chumaka, this man, are you quiet, gently? What? No, no. Uh, for eating. Oh, when was the Lord inside the other gives birth? So to blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice! Please, don't kill Chum Bucket! Please! Hey! <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. Then Chum Bucket is your man! Yeah, I'm your man! Yeah, yes, I am. See, I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you did too. I was gonna need an overhaul. Don't go stray. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. A chum bucket's not stupid. Well, I figure he'll be useful to keep around just in case we need to find a goat path to beat the Spartans. I don't know. He can wear a pointy hat. Xerxes! Xerxes! That's basically the entire next section of the game. Developer right now is like, damn it, you just spoiled the whole game. You're going to go fight Spartans now. In my experience with MMOs, being dinged up is not so terrible. Sorry about that. My mouse cursor gets stuck on screen in between cinematics. And so I gotta I gotta open the inventory thing and then close it back down to make the mouse go away. So if you see me making a lot of cuts, it's not because I'm dying or being terrible or anything. Or am I? <laughs> I'm tricking you. Nope. It's because my mouse keeps showing up on screen. That drives people nuts. So they hate it. Dog's bleeding out. Bro, I can fix it. But I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. Then... I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path! But before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes.
Oh yeah, nothing like a dog food can to get me feeling good. Num 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 num. Vittles in gravy. Yeah, just eat with your hands, man. Just get in there. Well. So apparently we eat food to restore health quickly. And food. <laughs> sure beats eating maggot gruel. Could you just give it a better name? Like, if you call it maggot gruel, it conjures all kinds of mental images. You could just call it like unknown nom noms or something like that, and then you just wouldn't think about it quite so much. I don't know, though. I just think that maggot bits or whatever the hell they call them could use like some kind of rebranding effort. I really feel like it's selling the meal a little bit short. For right now, I mean, any food is better. Feels like we got a change of plans. Dinky dee. First you was my grub. Now you're just bud. At least he knows how to rhyme too. So while we fight the Spartans, he can write merry poetry for us to stand by. Let us go off in this direction and see, perhaps one day, what we will be able to do with our polio leg. Wait, where's my polio leg? There it is. Okay, I just want to make sure I still have my leg gear. It's the most important thing to me right now. Don't judge me. Sometimes you gotta have cool leg gear. I can sprint with left shift. That wasn't much of a change, though. It's kind of a, it's a waddling sprint, but he's got a busted leg, so what are you gonna do? I always wondered that. Is his leg broken, or does he wear it for style? A dead man. Anything from me? Hey. Dead guy. Hello? Ammo. I know why. Wait, what does that mean? Can I shoot people? I want to shoot something. Let me fire upon something right now. I'll cut out your feet with the goddamn whole sack of fucking back. Language? Can I sneak up on him? Can I do a stealth kill? Crack the snack! Oh, Bring it on! Wait, he's a war pup? So we can use the shotgun, so we can aim and fire. Ow, no! I just got donkey punched. This is not the way I wanted the game to start out. So it looks like we can do something to him. Hold on, I'm gonna wait and see what happens here. Oh, we can block his punch. Yeah! That's right, where are you gonna come at me from? Work those pecs better next time. Maybe this won't happen to you. Oh, I kicked you in the dick. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? It's a harsh world we live in, man, and sometimes you gotta kick somebody in the dick. It is what it is. I have no shame. There's only winning and losing. And when you're gonna be the guy in the hospital bed, eh, I'd prefer to be the former, I think. Did I say winning first? I totally said winning first, didn't I? He threw that guy off that... So it looks like I can slowly draw my firearm if I desire to. I'm going to shoot somebody. I'm going to shoot somebody right now. Which you two wants to get it. Got myself a gat. It's on. So we can strike and we can parry. I feel like they should have told me that before, but then I was too dumb to shoot the gun, so I don't know. You can continue with that to parry, or we could do a powerful counter. So we retaliate with that after a parry. Okay. And then we can also... It seems like it's the same thing as... Just about every action game out there right now is doing the same thing as like Shadow of Mordor and like Batman Arkham Asylum. Seems like we got the- I mean, it's the perfect system. Why buck it and do something different? I'm gonna shoot one of you. I'm just letting you know. Somebody's getting shot. Yup, I got one bullet and somebody's getting laid out. I can either go 3v1 or 2v1. I'm gonna hedge my bets on 2v1. You got knocked out with one punch after all that shit talking? <laughs> this dude over here, he was talking such hard shit when he was running up as a BAP! Unconscious. I'm like, well, damn. Hold on, I'm stealing your friend's bullets. I got two scrap. Can I... Oh, things are exploding near me and it makes me feel nervous. Oh, we got this now. Ooh! Yup, that's how we do. Did his teeth just come out? Hold on, I gotta look closer. It looked like his teeth came out. Ooh! I hit you so hard it made your head blurry. And I mean not just like your eyesight is blurry. It made you blurry on camera, homie. You got knocked out that hard. Change falling out your pockets. Cell phone's like, burp, 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 burp. phone in an ass whooping. <laughs> you hit so hard that somebody texts you to ask if you're all right. <laughs> Bing boom. Hey man, I heard you got punched from across the street. You all right? Bing boom. <laughs> Instantaneous transfer of energy between you and your friends. This car does not look functional. Apparently, I'm just ripping wires out of shit. That's cool. But what if there's more treasure? This is a free roaming game. I've warned you guys that normally the reason I don't do free roaming games on this channel is because I get sidetracked and I can never focus on anything. How do I get up there? Can my character jump? Is he capable of getting up here? I want that. Give me it. I desire that thing and I will not cease. Oh, we can climb right there. Okay. I mean, I feel like if you did the proper upper body work, you could just parkour. Or, I mean, you could just run down the hill and jump for it. I mean, you can make it either way. But, you know, do you, man. Do you. Location 100% looted. Oh, I know a truck that can hold that tanker. With a dingo. Let's go off this way to the left-hand side. You know, I used to think that accents were like, 
exotic and like I don't know I don't know how to describe this but like the world was a smaller place before the internet so for kids that weren't there like back when we had like landlines and like cell phones didn't exist and like video games were basically those weird little tiger things those LC not yet you are not ready why who are you to judge me I've only seen you for like eight seconds I am an artist sir look at this cave painting that I made you should sell me your wares on that alone that was I thought that would be more awesome but like accents and things like that it used to make people seem like exotic and foreign and nowadays I've played MMOs for so long that like half the people in every guild I've ever been in were either like English Scottish or Australian and so now that the world has become a lot smaller place I don't know accents don't stand out quite as much anymore that was like a big part of the novelty of World Warrior way back in the day anyways I don't know you guys should go watch it by the way if you haven't seen it. it's pretty sick Oh, here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not weak, are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Raise me! Raise me! <laughs> My buggy's just over here. Follow me! I will follow you with this wounded dog that I elbowed in the face, but we're never going to talk about that again. It was totally your previous master. I didn't elbow you in the face. It's like when your parents go back and talk about your childhood. They always try to, like, smooth over all the shitty things they did. <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't me. That was your Uncle Ted. You remember? I'm like, yeah, I do remember. I remember exactly how that went down. It was a traumatic experience for me. No, no, no. Oh, what? We got a car? With it's got a doggy slot in the back. Oh, how did he know? It's got a little puppy cave. Oh, that's my favorite. Rev it up and go, Saint. The buggy's humble, but she can haul. So you're saying she's the humble buggy. Ooh, I like that a lot. Sounds like something you would buy a monthly subscription to on the internet. Get our humble buggy. Oh, God. Okay, so that's a little bit sluggy. I'll figure it out, though. I will figure it out. The sooner I'll be on my way. Amen! May we arrive in time to save your black on black from slaughter. These barbarians love to chop. No, every time he says that. No, don't flip my buggy. From that looky look point, we may be able to spot your car. What are you, Gurgi? With lookings and bookings? It's the looky look spot. Duh. Didn't you know? I thought you were from around here. We can see the camp from up there without risk of detection. I don't want to touch anything here. Everything looks like it's made out of a blade. An old, rusty blade. Like, what is that anchor made out of? Old rusty blades. Isn't that what you make your anchors out of? Yeah, see, this is where the thick brows squat and cut. Butchers. Even for the nose. I wanna... Oh, yeah, look. There. Scabber Scrotus is their king. Yeah. He's a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, you see. Yeah, but he's not here now, you see. I... I don't see the land we burn. I'm getting my car back. Wait, wait, please, please. I have an idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, your, your black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car. Bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah? How tough, how fast? Faster than fear, tougher than an iguana's gonads. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, you'll be shouting holy all day long. All right, so my car is lost, reduced to scrap by Scrotus's war boys. I need new wheels, and I need them fast. Can this bizarre, deranged mechanic help me? Yeah, see, my mouse stays on screen, so then I gotta go like that, and then it goes away. Yay, all fixed up. Oh, I have to use the binos. Yeah, good combo. Perfect place to build a car. So apparently I'm gonna either... Come, Saint! Yes, I have much to show you. Alright, so let's jump back up in our humble buggy. And we'll go back down to the left, and we'll get this covered. You are in the outer graves. Over there is the great white. An ancient seabed. I'm not sure. No, but 
we are at the bottom, it doesn't get any lower than this. You know, they always call them hideouts, but in my experience, they're almost always hide-ins. Like, we are definitely inside right now. I call this a hide-in. It's also kind of dark in here. Wait, there's a mission? No! Come and see. Huh? Come. Come and see your snake. Huh? The dream. Hallucination become truth. The angel made steel by the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the huge one, blessed be her. There she lies, the magnum opus. There she is. You've seen her car, it's just a mess of parts. No, 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 she's knowledge from the numinous. Divinely inspired, she wills herself upon this world. Uh, look! See, here, divine meets dry shaft and a symbiosis of faith. Modded and made to measure. You want some of that old time religion, huh? I got a classic whammy turbo high dog, huh? Hell yeah! Bulletproof and torture tested, aesthetically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils, and springs, and shocks, and links too. It's gonna be eight soon, there's nothing less. Yeah. We will get there. Yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. Yes. Come. No time like the present. Come on, Saint. We must go. We will liberate her body. From a place sad and strange, where the chariots of old went to die. A place I call the graveyard. <laughs> but we must go in the dead of night, when the buzzard guardians are away on their wild hunt. I prayed to the tranny on high one time, but it was during kind of like an exploratory period of my life. I was looking for new experiences and I needed help with it. I'm going to end the episode right here. I will see you all later. This is Mad Max. Check it out down below in the description. Hi to everybody. I'm Splattercat. I'll see you all next time.